There are significant barriers to educational and economic reform in countries in the Middle East and North Africa. Can you comment on some of what you think are the key barriers, highlighting perhaps the Moroccan example? Certainly, like the other countries in the region, the MENA region, Morocco has a very uh, serious demographic situation with over 60% of its population under 30 years of age, and the numbers keep increasing in the school system and at universities. It is important to notice from the beginning that most of the university and most of the education, both primary, secondary, and higher education, is financed by the government. With the growth in numbers, obviously the economic necessities become bigger and the government fa is facing the challenge of meeting um, these requirements, which in some cases causes the quality of education to suffer. We, the Moroccan government, reserves over 25% of its budget to education, but with the growing numbers, um, especially mass education, free access institutions, the quality is not in sync with the demands of the economy and the job market, and that's a big challenge. The Moroccan government has been encouraging the private sector to invest in education. So we have now about 10 private universities, most of them for profit, um, but the challenge is to guarantee quality in these institutions and to give them the equivalence to their degrees so that those who hold those degrees have the same access to job market, to further education as the ones that come out of the public uh, universities. Um, it is interesting, like the other countries in the region, uh, Morocco's unemployment is centrally focused on people with degrees. And so there is a tendency to over-educate compared to the job market where the needs are there. And uh, the people with higher degrees uh, from universities are finding more difficulty in securing an appropriate job for their degree. They may be getting a job, but it's not in, it, it doesn't reflect the years they spent at school and the degrees that they hold. So those are challenges for us. Um, added to the difficulty to reform, particularly the public universities, where 90% of our university students are today. A reform for many years uh, had to be uniform across universities, and that created a lot of difficulties. There is more flexibility today, but the reform is still difficult, and I think essentially for the burden of tradition and for economic reasons. To ask faculty in various universities to change their way of doing and their approach that they've been using for years, heavy incentives are needed, new programs are needed, technology in education is needed, and so the burden, uh, the economic um, bill or the economic burden is pretty heavy for a country that already reserves over 25% of its budget to education. Are we going to be able to, at some point, ask students and their families to contribute by and large? I think it's a highly politically sensitive question that's likely to take time and debate and uh, for it to take place so that everybody contributes to the cost of education and the economic implications of quality education that we would like for everybody.